What is good guys, today we are working on the 33.4 again, this is part 2 of the oil cooler saga. Uh, it kind of sucks that this is such a fiddly pain in the ass job that's dragged out over 2 days, but it is what it is, and we're going to do the best that we can with it. Now, a little bit of an update with the power steering system. Um, I've decided to not even try to attempt to install that cooler that I have, and that's because those fittings were dash 10. Last night I jumped online, ordered a whole new cooler with the correct dash 8 fittings on the top, um, and a whole new like line kit, because what I would rather do is instead of trying to make the oil cooler for the power steering work on this side is I'd rather put it on this side where the reservoir is up and in here. So that's what we're doing. I've ordered a whole new kit that's going to come off the return on the rack under the subframe and the engine to over here to the cooler and then to the reservoir. So that's going to kind of solve that whole issue for me. Um, and then the only other thing is um, we've just got to do the oil cooler kit today. So we're going to finish that up, get that mounted in there and the oil filter relocation block in there as well. We're gonna have to take all of this out just so we can get to that real estate in there to put it in. But anyways, enough talking, let's throw you on the time-lapse, set up everything and get started. Okay, so I've got everything kind of set up now for me to get the new oil cooler kit and everything all put in place. Uh, one thing I did want to say is I've got Twitch open right now. So if any of you guys are on Twitch, make sure you head over, hit the link in the description and uh, you can jump in on these Twitch streams that I do from time to time, whether I'm gaming or just working on the car like this and we can all hang out. Um, so as I was saying yesterday is I want to find a nice place for, for this upside down somewhere in here where it's not interfering with the uh, the cooler itself, which will be back here. So I'm going to try and figure out a way to get it mounted up and in here. The biggest issue with that is these two sensors on either side, the oil pressure and then the water, te the temp, the oil temp sensor. And because this comes out so far, I can't get that flush up against the chassis there, which is a real pain in the ass. But uh, we'll figure something out. I got some brackets and stuff from the hardware store, so we should be able to mount it somewhere in here. So anyways, for now, back on the time-lapse for you guys, and uh, we'll get this smashed out, and then hopefully we can go for a test drive soon and do some road tuning, because uh, I'm really keen to get uh, some things sorted out with my idle, and as well as uh, leaning out the tune a little bit in the top end, because it's just running way too rich. So we'll get that all sorted out. Okay, so time for a quick update. As you would have seen the time lapse, we've pulled everything out of there and I've now found a place for my oil cooler slash um, thermostat block. And this monstrosity with all these adapters, this is how it's gonna look. So uh, these two lines here need to go back to the cooler, which will be sitting here um, and two short lines just go whoop, straight into here and the other one comes down into here. Um, and the lines kind of run over the top under the filter there and into here, sorry, through behind that fil that uh, sensor there. Um, and then these two lines come out and then go through the hole with the intercooler pipe to the engine. So this is uh, pretty much the best plate location I could find. I still think that it's not ideal in the sense of crash zone area. Um, obviously, if I got into a front accident um, and all of this got smashed, um, I would have to tow the car home. But I think that's just something I'm going to have to live with. Um, ideally, if I did want to try and get home, I could probably just rig something up where we didn't run an oil filter and I just looped, you know, the, the whole system back into the engine. Um, that's not ideal, but that would only be in like the worst emergency of cases. Um, but anyways, um, from here, pretty much going to mount the oil cooler and everything up. Um, I've got all the brackets and everything drilled in place here. We're actually going to go through the side here uh, for one side and then we'll be using an existing hole up in the chassis there or the body. 
to mount that and then the intercooler pipe comes out through here just misses this oil filter um, using this nismo filter is good but at the same time i'm going to get the the compact ones from now on just because i know that that's going to uh, give us a bit more space between the intercooler piping and whatnot because that's coming pretty close to here um, but otherwise, pretty happy with how everything's worked out. I'm also really enjoying talking to uh, a fair few of you guys on Twitch there. It's a whole bunch of fun just sitting here talking to myself. I'm pretty sure my neighbors all think I'm insane. But anyways, enough chit chat, throw you back on the time lapse and uh, let's finish this oil cooler off and go for a drive and uh, have some fun with the Link ECU. Okay, so as you would have seen, we got everything in there and mounted now. Uh, I got the front bar just on there and uh, it's starting to get dark. Hopefully the GoPro can pick that up pretty well. Um, I'm at the stage now where all I need to do is try and pack up all my tools and stuff that are here. And then what I can then do is get the car off jack stands on the ground and take it for a test drive. Um, but I'm really liking how everything went and kind of like uh, fitted everything in here. Um, it worked out so much better than what I was hoping like thought it was going to be I thought it was just going to be a little bit messy and kind of gross um, But if I grab my cell phone real quick, I can show you guys just how good it looks So this is how everything looks up in here um, I've got the filter bolted up there with all the lines running to it nice and neat and trimmed perfectly the only thing that was kind of difficult was tightening these 180 kind of bends. They're a little bit difficult if you don't have like a skinny spanner. Um, the only job that I have left to do now to finish this is uh, wire up the temp sensor and the oil pressure sensor that are here. Um, but otherwise, everything worked out really nice. All the lines come in there. The only other thing that I need to do is just uh, put the line protectant uh, covers on them. So they're like these little sleeves that kind of like a C-shaped in the way that you just slip them over and then zip tie them on. And once we do that, we'll be finished. Okay, so it's a few hours later now, and once I got the car on the ground, I took it for a test drive, drove it around for about 15, 20 minutes, making sure I was always keeping an eye on oil pressure. And when I came back, I checked for leaks, found nothing that was leaking, which is really good. It's always a sigh of relief whenever you're doing those AN lines and you take everything for a test drive and check for leaks and find no leaks, so that was really good. Um, but otherwise, uh, the power steering fittings and stuff that I needed to get, they should be here by the end of this week, which means we should be able to still get that done in time for the next event, um, which is kind of important. I'm not sure how my power steering would go with not even like the factory cooler being there. So hopefully that um, uh, all arrives on time and we can do that because uh, I'm interested to see what difference it makes having a proper cooler if my steering is going to feel any better or anything like that. But anyways, guys, um, I'm ready now actually to go and uh, head to work. I've got a really crappy night shift tonight. I start at 11 p.m., work all the way through to 8 a.m. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> But anyways, you've been great. Thanks heaps for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. 
and I will catch you on the next video. Join the Discord as well, link in the description. Love having you guys all there in the community talking. It's so good to see what you guys get up to. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Jamatane.